mango. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. I was having some mango. Yeah, I was having mango. So, I did meditate over these cards, and we're going to take a look at Aquarius's energy. The cards, the, these two I pulled out, right? They were, I, I pulled them out. Yeah, the, the other reading was just, it wasn't, you know, you know how my, my life goes. But, so I'm recording again. So I'm really going to just kind of like do, because I want to keep these kind of short, not too long. But for Aquarius, the energy that I'm getting currently from you is that you have a few decisions to make, right? That's what I'm getting from this reading, and also I'm getting that you're taking some time to figure everything out. You're in Tamas mode. Okay, that says that you're in hibernation. That you're trying to figure out life. You're changing a little bit. You're it's kind of like the world in between where you're coming out of one mode, right? And kind of shedding yourself of, of things that don't serve you anymore. And attempting to move on to what it is that you really, really, really want, I guess. Because it says here that there's a problem with partnerships. Alliances. There's more than one person. And I think you're in a stage where you're like, you know what? The relationship that I'm in right now or whatever energy I'm currently entertaining is not fulfilling me. I don't know if this is what I want, but I do know this is not what I want. But I'm also trying to figure out if there's somebody else, you know, that could be good for me. So I'm in my head a little bit about making this choice where I feel like moving on from where I am and making a decision between where I go next or how I should move next. See, the problem here, let me see what that is. Okay. So that could be some, uh, you could, you could be choosing between an air sign and maybe you could be, who else is that? Maybe you could be choosing between a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. So it could be that, where you have these two people on your mind where you're thinking of moving on or just letting them both go all together. Because I see, I see both these cards are reversed. So you either have a decision to make between these two folks or you're dissatisfied in this third-party relationship. So you ain't feeling none of your... You're not feeling any of your girlfriends or boyfriends. You just want to bounce and say, you know what? I'm all set with this type of living all together. <laughs> and maybe I just want to move on because I'm here. I'm hibernating. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go next. I know I'm changing a little bit because I'm becoming more spiritual. I'm more interested in helping people. As a matter of fact, I'm so focused on helping people. In order for me to walk into it clean, I think what I might have to do is actually tell the truth about what I was doing. I'm going to have to tell it. If I really want this transition, I'm going to have to tell it because that's where I'm headed. I don't know. I believe this is on your mind currently, right? You're trying to figure out how you're going to make your uh, your wish fulfillment come true. Because the thing is, it's like, you know, you ever see like the white picket fence and you'll see somebody who's happy with the husband and the wife and the two kids in the suburbs where somebody else is just like, completely amazed and uh, excited to wake up every single day in a city apartment, right? We are a train station that makes a lot of noise and it's just fulfilling. It's what is your definition of the white picket fence? And I believe for you, Aquarius, it is changing. I think that you're trying to shed certain energies that you had before. And I really think this, who's in this reading? It was, um, yep, it was, yep. What's that? That's swords. Okay, and then we got pentacles again. All right, so that tells me I believe that you've been having a lot of trouble. I believe that the partner, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that is weighing the most heavily on your mind right now, the one that is closest to you that you're probably in a connection with, um, I believe that's the one you're trying to, you might try and leave. I, I don't know. I think you're trying to leave. Then I think you're like, okay, so if I go... Like, I'm free to kind of do, am I going to cut everything else? I'd like, basically, let me give it to you like this. Am I going to, am I going to give the air sign a try when I get out of this relationship? That's kind of what I get out of it. So whatever problems you're having with the, the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, 
You're like, when I get out of this, am I going to go over to the air sign? I could give that a try, or I could just give this up altogether. Because this is a situation I don't feel like dealing with. Because I ain't, I'm about to be out of, I'm, I'm about to be out of this, this state of mind anyway. So I think you might hear. I don't know if you guys feel like you want to say something to these people. Once you get to this point, I think that how you feel might change about how you, because where you are now, I think once you get through this transition here. You're going to start operating in wisdom. And so, therefore, you might be honest and tell the truth about some of the things that have been going on in your feelings. Because it clearly says this is three of cups. And the reason why I say you're not completing this journey just yet is because we have the air energy. That's intuition. Moonlight. Illumination, bringing light to the issues that you're having. The issues that you're having right now, Aquarius, is partnerships. You don't know what you want to do. You know that you're changing. You know you're growing. You're not there yet because you still got trickster in you. It says it. Trickster traits. Because you still got two people holding on. Or, you know, you're trying to get rid of one and see how the other one work out. But I firmly believe you have three of cups here. So, because you have these cards, I'm going to say just like I said it before I had to get rid of the other one. It didn't work. I believe that you might be, because your heart chakra, once everything gets reversed, you might decide to shed these familiar relationships all together. You know, like those energies of, you know, dealing with certain, you know how you're attracted to certain, like I date Capricorns all the time or whatever, Virgos all the time. I think you might be attempting to move over to water to try that. I don't know how that's going to work, but I think that if not water, I think that you are tired of this and you might have some new direction in which you want to go and that might involve somebody that you've never dated before okay so you're going to be walking in wisdom right now you're still in this trickster energy but i think once it's all said and done you're going to be walking in wisdom have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge and the challenge is are you trying to figure out how you're going to move into this and whether or not you should shed these energies that don't serve you anymore. And move over to, I mean, maybe you're moving over to an organization of people who are more, you know, understand. I don't know. It could be anything that you're moving towards. I think you're moving towards a water sign. I think you might be talking to one. See, the one with this one is... This, this water sign, if... If you go towards this water sign, I believe what's going to I think the type of water sign that it is, I don't know. But I think they're going to be a very stable person. I think they their lives will have gone full circle. Very mature. I think... I don't know why I feel like this is like a Taurus or a Virgo. I feel like something was just incomplete. Like you weren't being fulfilled. You weren't getting what you. I don't think you were ever satisfied in this, to be honest with you. And I think that's why you always kept your heart open for to entertain other folks. All right, I'm going. This is I. Uh, I love you guys. Just a quick reading. It'll be up for more this week. Whatever. Okay. Bye. Thank oh yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Zen Romance Tarot. I want you guys to talk to me in the comment area. <clears throat> like sometimes, like I went live a couple of times. <laughs> I had one person show up, which is cool because then I get to read for that one person. So if you see me go live, most likely I'm going up there because I'm meditating. And usually when I go into meditation mode, I don't know. That's when like stuff happens. So you should always like just ask me a question if you see me up there. I'll be happy to answer. All right. Love you guys. Bye.